Hello viewers, from this session we will start our new session. So before the jumping in our subject, I would like to explain in this session particular important terminology which name is contract. What is contract? Contract is important terminology we are using in our construction field. But contract is not related only to our construction only we are using this terminology contract in our day to day life so let us understand what is contract before the discussion of the topic contract related to the construction field so i would like to explain few example based on the contract which we are using in our day to day life so first of all paid parking in the paid parking we have to pay particular amount for this particular payment for the certain duration so if you are going to park your vehicle at paid parking and in that case you have to pay the particular amount for the look after of your car so in that case you are binding with the agreement so in that case you are binding with a particular contract because you are going to park your vehicle at paid parking and you are getting the certain receipt for the parking area and so this is the receipt you are getting in that case you have done contract so this is the simple example you can understand for the contract now let us understand the other example for example you are going to dry cleaning of your clothes so in that case the person behind the counter he will give you the certain receipt and this is the acceptance and the proof that you have to give one your cloth for the dry cleaning so in that case also you are bonded with the particular contracts so this type of the examples we can take for the understanding of the contract so contract is not only related to the construction field but the contract we are using in our day to day life now let us understand the technical definition of the contract it is undertaking by the person or firm to do any work under the certain terms and conditions for example you are a contractor and you are taking a particular structure for the construction work like z plus 2 z plus 3 z plus 4 and you are taking the contract for the construction work and you are bonded with the owner or client owner or client is offering to you for the certain type of the structure for example g plus 2 structure and you are accepting this offer by the contract so this is the example of the contract and contractor can be done with the different types of the work like maintenance work like repairs work like for the supply of the laborers for the transportation of the materials and any others so it's is there are the different types of the contracts we are using in our construction field you are taking the whole project so this is the one of the type of the contract and the contract is an agreement which can be enforced by law 
so for example you are taking a contract for the labor only and the client is providing to you the materials so in that case you have taken the contract for the particular labors if you are taking the contract for the designing work so execution and the progress of the work will be looked after by the client and you have to do the design only so in that case the pre project of the work you have to do and if changes is required in that case you have to modify your design so this is the one type of the contract there are the different types of the contract we are using in our construction field we will understand in detail later so a contract is an agreement which can be enforced by law so it should be enforced by law because the without enforcing by the law this will be not an contract or we can say agreement so for example the person a is offering to the person b for the killing of the person c that will be in legal contract so that will be not a contract for example the person a wants to sell the taj mahal so that will be in legal work and that will be not the contract so now you can understand that the old type of the contract should be enforced by the law and the contract is defined in indian contract act of 1872 section 2a there are the many sections available in the indian contract act and this is our the main source of the rules and regulations for the contract work so uh, you might have a question arise that how it can be possible the indian contract act is defined in 1872 but india is independent in 1947 so how it is possible so the main source of the indian contract act have been taken from the british courts later on the indian contract act has been prepared from the source of the british court of contracts so contract is an agreement is enforced by the law and there are the many types of the contracts available in our construction field and it is the undertaking by a person or firm you can take the particular person or you can take the particular firm in the particular firm there are the many workers and the employees are working with together and they are taking a particular structure and they are designing and the execution and they can take the any type of the contract so to do work under the certain terms and conditions i would like to give a example for example you are as a contractor taking a contract from the client g plus 12 and the client wants the m30 grade of the concrete in that structure so you have to follow the m30 grade of the concrete you cannot use the m20 or below the m30 grade of the concrete mass because the after the contract has been done you have to follow terms and conditions for example the certain area the clients wants the self compacting concrete so in that case you have to do the self compacting concrete so you have to follow the certain terms and conditions which have been mentioned in the contract so it is undertaking by a person or firm to do any work under the certain terms and condition this is the technical definition of contract contract is divided in the certain part first part is a proposal in the second part is a consideration and the third part is the acceptance what is the proposal proposal is a offer you can say the e tender have been mentioned in the newspaper this is the offering for example i am a client and i am offering to the all the contractors for the certain type of the structure with the terms and conditions so this is the offer and you are 
uh, accepting my the offer as a contractor so that will be done by the acceptance so contract has been divided into three parts first one is offering second one is the consideration and the third one is the acceptance so if we talk about the technical definition of the offer when a person signifies to the another his willingness so i cannot force to the any contractor to do the particular work and such a simple advertisement a circular starting that a certain goods are sell by the tender it and offer and similar a tender notice inviting the tender is called offer this is the one type of the offering to the contractor offer can be done with the different stakeholders which is connecting to our construction field for example i am contractor and i would like to offer my contract in the sub contract so for example i am a big contractor and i have taken a particular contract for the government and i would like to offer to the small contractor for the sub contract so this is the offering by the contractor offer and the acceptance and the consideration happen in with the different stakeholders which is connected to the our construction field now let us understand the acceptance for example i am a big contractor and i am offering for the particular part of the work to the sub contractor in that case the sub contractor wants to do my sub contract so they will accept my offer so that will be acceptance for example government is offering for the particular type of the structure by the e tendering and the contractor wants to do that work so they are accepting the offer from the government so if we talk about the technical definition when the person to whom proposal is made signifies his assent there to proposal is said to be accepted a proposal when the accepted become a promise to be binding and effective the acceptance must be unconditional and absolute so in that case you have to understand the all the terms and conditions of the work by the tender and the contract terms and conditions which have been offered by the client so this is the acceptance so contract can be done with the certain step first one is offering second one is the consideration and the third one is the acceptance so let us understand with a simple example you are going to the mcdonald for the meal and you can see that there are the uh, various type of the meals available in there and you are selecting the particular meal for the food so if you select the particular meal so in case counter a person asks for the particular amount for the meal and you are going to pay for the particular type of the meal and he he will accept your money and he will give you the certain receipt so the mcdonalds is offering to the different types of the meals and you are accepting that offer and for that you are paying for the particular meal so after getting the certain receipt you are bounded with the mcdonalds so this is the one type of the contract and the with this receipt you can get the meal so this is the simple contract so this kind of the contracts happen in our day to day life so contract is really essential for our life and if we talk about our construction field without contract it can mean it cannot be possible to do any work because the all the task should be done in the written format and in the with the terms and condition it should be by the legal enforcement so in the construction field without a contract we cannot work for the any type of the task either government contract or private contract now let us 
discuss the origin of contracts we might have question arise that what is the source of the contract origin of the contract the origin of the contract had been introduced by the code of hammurabi the code of the hammurabi had been introduced by the egypt in the ancient time the king of the egypt they are used the contract by the written and the stone so you can see on your screen the written terms and condition had been made in the stones and that will be introduced in the code of the hammurabi so the particular task they were using the terms and conditions on the stone work so they so this is the origin of the contract and then the british code introduced and then the indian contract act has been developed and there are the different amendments has been come so after the british code the indian contract act has been introduced so this is the origin of contract now you may the clear about the what is contract and importance of the contract in our construction field thank you